in three, two, one. Hey guys, it's your host Andre and welcome back to the sixth episode of Chakra Shorts. After a long break, today I'm coming at you with a banger and that is keyframes and CSS animations. Uh, today we'll be talking about how you can do animations in Chakra UI. But firstly, for the people wondering what are keyframes, I'd like to give you a short introduction about them. Keyframes is how you write animation code and that animation is created by gradually changing a CSS property. For example, moving the position of an element from left to right and vice versa. Anyway, let me show you the example that we'll be doing today. On the screen we have a button which says hover me, so let's hover it and see what happens. And this is the magic of keyframes, you can see how the button position changes from left to right. And I have great news, you can do this quickly and easily with Chakra UI. But let's do less talking and more coding and get into the code. Here I have some default starter code. I just have the Chakra provider wrapped in my application and a button which says hover me and doesn't do anything in this case. So let's start with the animation. We'll import keyframes from Chakra UI. And we'll wrap it with backticks. So there's two ways to define animations in CSS. One is if you want to be more specific, you can define the CSS property at each percent, or if you want, you can just define the starting and the ending value. So let's start with the second example. To do that, you need to write from and say the CSS property you want to change. In this case, I'll keep the background initially as the default one. And the ending value should be light blue. And there we go, we have a simple animation which changes the background. So let's see that in action and implement it. In our app, we'll define a constant. And the first parameter will be the animation itself. The second is the iteration count. I'll set this to infinite. And the third parameter is the animation duration, which will be one second for me. Now all we need to do is set this animation when the button is being hovered. Okay, now let's see if the button changes its colors. Voila! Nice job! But for our moving animation, we want to get more specific, so we'll use the percentages. So let's go ahead. One cool thing is that you can define multiple animation in the same keyframes. So firstly, let's define the animation at the 10th and 19th percentage. What we'll be using is the transform CSS property and we'll be doing translate 3D and changing the position on the x-axis. Like I said, the first parameter is the x-axis and it will be minus one pixel. What this means, on the 10th and 90th position, the button will go on the left side. Now let's define the CSS property for the 20th and 80th percent. In this case, the button will go on the right two pixels. Next up is 30, 50 and 70. And in this case, the button will go on the left for 4 pixels. And last but not least, it's the 40th and 60th percent. And in this case, it will be going on the right side for 4 pixels. And just to clarify, you don't have to be this specific with your animations. But I want my animation to be smooth. Now let's go ahead and hover on the button. And there we go, nice job. That's almost everything done, we just need to change the text based if the button is being hovered or not. For that we'll have a simple use state. And initially it will be false. Now to set the state we need to play with a couple events with the button. What I mean by that is when the mouse hovers it, we need to set the hovering to true and when the mouse leaves or stops hovering, 
we need to set the hovering to false. We have HTML events for that on mouse enter or on mouse leave. So let's go ahead and do that. On mouse enter, we want to set the hovering to be true. And on mouse leave, we want to set the hovering to false. Now that we have the state, we just need to change the text. And there we go, let's do the final check and wrap up the video. Great job, now you guys know how to do CSS animations and I can't wait to see the final results you guys create. And this is where we wrap up the video. If you get creative uh, and create some amazing animation, be sure to share it with me at Twitter. But that's about it, thanks a lot for watching and adios!